please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to InfoFo, Blazers. I'm Gabe. And I'm Habib. On Friday the 7th, MCPS announced that it is no longer using the 5% threshold rule to determine if schools would go into two weeks virtual learning period. Now, no automatic trigger or threshold will be used and instead MCPS and the Department of Health and Human Services will examine schools on a case-by-case -case basis to determine if a suspension of in-person learning is necessary and for how long. The announcement came just two days after another 115 Montgomery County schools have reached the previous threshold. Maryland casinos had their second best month ever in December 2021, raking in a combined $172.9 million in gaming revenue. The current record was sent during July 2021, where the casinos generated $180.1 million. The revenue was up almost half again from the previous December, when the casinos were operating under COVID restrictions. Comedian and actor Bob Saget, best known for his role as Danny Tanner on the sitcom Full House, has passed away at the age of 65. No signs of foul play or drug use were found. Now, let's take a closer look at Blair's security team. So I've been in the county now for 11 years. But before coming to the county, I worked in the maximum security prison in Jessup, Maryland, and the military before that. You're pretty much in charge of making sure all staff or security staff are, have locations to work, that uh, they get all information they need in regard to the activities that the students uh, will be engaging in. Um, that the different um, notifications that we get from other security in the area, some of the uh, community things that are going on, and that, you know, the students are pretty much safe while they're on campus. But I love Blair, I love students, um, and I just love to see the transition of them from ninth graders to young adults and out to their careers or whatever they're going to do with the next step. We've had a mentoring group here for several years. I don't, we're not doing it now just because we haven't had time to pull it together as a security team. But there's a student that I uh, encountered as a ninth grader. Um, I encouraged him to get involved with sports. He's doing fantastic. His grades are fantastic. And now there's a ninth grader that I somehow, I don't know if he befriended me or if I befriended him. But now he's been encouraged to join that same sport and he, the older student is now mentoring him in that sport. So I joke with them during the day about making sure his little brother is good. But um, you know, that's one of the good things I like about Blair and the students. Thank you to the security team for making Blair better and safer. MLK Week of Service is January 15th to January 22nd. This is a great opportunity to impact your community and in ESSLA hours. To learn about ESSLA opportunities, visit the link below. You can also stop by our room 342 on Wednesdays at lunch and Ms. Sanchez's Blair's ESSLA coordinator will help you search. Early Saturday morning, there was a fire at the Flower Branch Apartments in Silver Spring. Members of the Blair community lost their homes and family items in the fire. If you are able to support the family by donating clothes and gift cards, please let Ms. Nabavian know using the email below. Thank you to Lana Anderson, the president of Small Things Matter, for donating 5,000 K9, K, KN95 masks for students and staff. Thanks to, thanks to Lana, students will receive KN95 masks and COVID home testing kits. And now, let's go to Maria for the weather.
Good morning, Blazers. After last week's big storm, this week is looking more calm. Today, it will be mostly sunny with a high of only 26 degrees and a low dipping down to 20 degrees. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 39 and a low of 26. On Thursday, it will be mostly cloudy and a little warmer with highs in the 40s and a low of 24 degrees. On Friday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 35 and a low of 21. That's it for this week, but tune in next time to hear about the weather for the weekend. And that's all for today's show. Check out our website at bnconline.net to submit any announcements and follow us at bnc underscore Blair on Instagram and on Twitter at BNC Blair. Please keep wearing your mask and be mindful of COVID safety measures. Have a great day and see you next time, Blazers.